Today we're going to talk about how much fertilizers lawns actually need to do pretty well throughout the season. Before we jump into it, you should know that some lawns require a lot less and some lawns can take a lot more. I'm going to give you a ballpark low estimate for the average lawn that will make it look pretty good. It's not going to make it the best lawn ever, but this recipe will allow for virtually any lawn to look better than most lawns on the block. To get slightly more granular, if you're running a fine fescue lawn up north or a centipede lawn down south, you'll require a lot less fertilizer and you probably don't want to round up too much. If you're running Kentucky bluegrass lawns or maybe down south, you're running a Bermuda lawn or a St. Aug, you can probably round up quite a bit and do just fine. All lawns require nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium in P and K. Nitrogen is the biggest nutrient hog of all. That's why virtually every bag of fertilizer is going to have more nitrogen in it than just about anything else. In my experienced and educated opinion, the best ratio for a lawn over the long term is eight parts nitrogen to two parts phosphorus to five parts potassium. Eight to five. Now lawns are going to do just fine if you get that ratio off a little bit, but that's the target here. And to keep things simple, I'm going to give you a recipe to fertilize your lawn as easily as humanly possible over the course of an entire year. Now, in addition to N, P, and K, there are minor nutrients. And here on how you categorize them, there's roughly 11 micronutrients that are very important for the lawn. Traditional lawn fertilizers that you find in big box stores don't usually contain any or very little of the micronutrients. So to properly fertilize your lawn, you need to go out of your way to add them into the lawn when you're fertilizing with the macros. I also have a very simple way of getting that stuff into the lawn at the same time that you're putting down the macronutrients. Now beyond the macros and the micros are trace elements. These are the nutrients that it's almost impossible to quantify what they all do to the lawn. And soil tests are almost never going to give you accurate readings on what you have in the lawn and what you're deficient in. There's plenty of research out there that show that these are necessary and that they aid your lawn in performing well over time. So I'll also go into how to add them to your lawn care program in the simplest way possible. Because most people that are new to fertilizing the lawn don't want to go all in, I'm going to suggest that you start with only organic products. They break down very slowly in the lawn and there's almost no way to damage your lawn by over applying. You could spill them on the lawn and these products would still probably not damage your lawn at all. If you were to take 16 pounds of Melorganite, an organic product that's found on the store shelves of most big box stores, and apply 16 pounds to every thousand square feet of your lawn in the spring, and then purchase a product called Lawn Lux, which I'll link to down in the description below, and apply 14 pounds of that product to every thousand square feet to your lawn in the early fall, you would be applying just under two pounds of nitrogen to every thousand square feet of your lawn. You would be applying approximately two thirds of phosphorus to every thousand square feet of your lawn, and you would be applying just barely under one pound of potassium to every thousand square feet of your lawn. That ratio is not eight to five, but it's close. It's six to three. It's in the ballpark and your lawn is going to do extremely well for many years if you're applying that ratio. Now, Lawn Lux also includes some granular humic acid in there, which is going to help with nutrient uptake in your lawn. It also contains a little bit of sulfur, but that's it in terms of the miners. If we then go and apply Southern Ag's Miner Blend, which I'll also link to down below, you're going to be getting seven out of the additional 11 minor nutrients applied to the lawn. You can buy a five pound bag for a rounding error. It doesn't cost very much, and you can apply that to every thousand square feet of your lawn in the spring with your melorganite and you'll get your major miners, let's call it like that, applied to the lawn for the year. Now the only other micronutrients that you're not going to be getting from the Southern Ag Miners Blend is the malignum, nickel, and chlorine. These are minor nutrients that your lawn does need, but they don't need very much of them and most likely your lawn soil already has enough of them in it to support your lawn for a long time to come. Calcium, however, is something that people do apply on a regular basis in certain scenarios, and that's why it's usually applied separately. Iron is another one of those micronutrients that is frequently applied separately for the purpose of getting a deeper, darker green in the lawn. 
Most soils contain a lot of iron, but when applied in excess, you'll be able to get a deeper, darker green without pushing a whole lot of extra growth. Later in the fall, when you apply the Lawn Luck, then you'll go ahead and apply five to 10 pounds of azomite, granular, pelletized, however you want to call it, azomite to the lawn. It's basically, it's a rock dust and it contains pretty much all of the trace elements that you could ever find in the entire world. They're all pretty much bundled up in this natural product. You're going to apply your Lawn Lux in the late summer or the early fall. Then you're going to go ahead and spread around a little bit of the azomite. That's going to cover you for NPK, minor nutrients, and all the trace elements. And you're only going to walk your lawn two times over the course of the entire year. The only element that is not included in this mix is calcium. Calcium can be obtained very easily from either lime. You can add lime to the soil to get some calcium. If you have a low pH or a middle ground pH where you don't really want the pH to change in your soil, then you can apply gypsum to get a little bit of calcium into the lawn as well. That covers everything. Now again, this is going to be applying two pounds for every thousand square feet over the entire year. Many lawns, a Bermuda lawn could probably take three times that much. Probably even a Kentucky bluegrass lawn could take three times that much. But if you're running a centipede lawn or a fine fescue lawn, then you probably don't want to go over that. And you could probably even round those numbers down a little bit because those grass types don't require that much. Any of the other grass types, that is not going to give you the best lawn in your entire town, but it's going to give you one of the best lawns on the entire block if you stick with that very simple plan. These products are linked down in the description below. I use most of these products myself. I also apply a variety of liquid products to my lawn because I take my lawn care to another level. For simplicity, all you got to do is follow the instructions written in the description below. I've got some additional links to some supporting information also linked in the description below. And I highly suggest taking a look at the other link down in the description, which takes you over to my seasonal lawn care guide. I have a guide for every season of the year. If you really want to go down the rabbit hole and learn more about lawn care and taking care of your lawn better than your neighbor.